And then on his turn, I'm going to use Tornado Dragon on the Scythe that was set by the Degda. So now what the heck deck is playing through this? Headmaster deck, baby, let's go! Who's ready for some double Irish Magician? Man, life is good. Life is good for the pen god. Life is good for you, my fellow pendulum player. Life is great. Life is incredible. Even regardless of Yu-Gi-Oh, life is just incredible. But it's even incredibler today when Double Iris came back from the dead. You're beautiful. And I developed a new combo that I didn't even think was imaginable and I can't believe it took me this long to figure out this Pendulum Magician combo that is honestly going to blow your mind and it's going to revolutionize the way Pendulums are played for this rest of the format utilizing the power of Double Iris Magician Surprise, motherfucker! Plus, some cards that didn't even get banned, which should have that make this deck remarkable I'm not even going to talk anymore, I'm just going to let you guys see the greatness So, stay tuned until the end of the combo so you guys can see it all Because if you're a Pendulum player, you need to see this combo right now I legitimately don't think I'm going to play Servant of Endemion anymore. What? That's how broken Pendulum Magician's card, uh, cards are. Anyways, stay tuned for the video. Smash the subscribe button if you guys love Pendulums. And you guys got to show some love to your boy. Double Irish Magician. You got to be my Double Irish Magician playmat. Let's go. Next balance is Brothers. Joker and Kieran are coming off the list too. So get yours now. Get your mats right now. TripGaming.com or down below on PayPal. That being said, man, I am more than excited to present to you guys the new Pendulum Magician deck profile of 2020 with the Virus Magician. Let's go! Man, you guys have no idea how excited I am to show you guys this list. As you see here, Wisdom Eye Magician. This is pure Pendulum Magicians, and it is literally the best way to play Pendulum moving forward. And it's going to sound a little iffy. You're going to be like, oh, it's going to lose the high trash, bro. No, you literally don't need Servant, you don't need Abductor. Wisdom Eye Magician with double... You people don't understand how good Double Iris and Wisdom Eye are together. They are remarkable. The pendulum Graphs are remarkable. I should have got... I meant to get uh, Double Iris here in our oath. But Dubus Alliance can search Double Iris Magician because there, it's a Pendulum Dragon. So you can actually search Double Iris. So now you're going to see the absolute power of Double Iris with Wisdom Eye. Wisdom Eye is going to bring an Oath Dragon triggering Chronograph Sorcerer. So you're going to be able to special Chronograph and Harmonize it. Now at this point, we're going to use a card in Pendulums that no one uses that in some weird way escaped the ban list, and that's Needle Fiber. But you're thinking, you're probably thinking, yo, Triff. Needle Fiber? What are you going to summon out? Jet Synchron is banned. O-Line is banned. But what about a better Jet Synchron? And that is Tuning Magician. The new Jet Synchron. Everyone's going to be putting up some garbage boards with Needle Fiber because they don't have O-Line and Jet Synchron. But here you are playing the best deck, putting up the best possible Needle Fiber combo. So what you're going to do after this is even better. So because I'll tell you why Tuning is better than Jet Synchron. Tuning, if you guys didn't realize, Tuning Magician is a magician, which means it's a spellcaster. So Celine will be able to be used now and Celine will then special out the Tuning Magician, right? All you need is one spell, one spell card is all you need, and two scales. I mean, you you, have, you play a bunch of spells, you're going to draw one spell and trigger Selene, right? Obviously. And now here's where it gets absolutely crazy that blew my own mind. I'm the pen god, and this blew my mind. I can't believe it took me this long to realize this. It took me an unban of Double Iris Magician. But what comes after, what comes after Needle Fiber? Link Ross, baby! But what you don't understand is you're not linking away the Needle Fiber for this. You're linking away a Selene, which gives you three tokens. You get three tokens, bro. Three tokens. Now, let's say your opponent Nibiru's you right now. Let's say your opponent Nibiru's you. I don't care. If your opponent Nibiru's you right now, you have Tooting Magician in the graveyard to special back. Use your opponent's token and the Tooting Magician to go into a Link 2. That's where you go into the next card, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then use Oath Dragon to add back Harmonizing, and you pen five monsters. You're going to have the exact same end board. This combo plays through Nibiru. The opponent will Nibiru right now. Like, right now he's Nibiruing, or loses. That's it. If he doesn't Nibiru now, he loses. If he Veilers the Needle Viper, all you do is you Oath Dragon into the Harmonizing, you pen four monsters, you go into Time Star, Time Star search the Tuning Magician, free up space, and then you still go into a, a, a Link Ross combos with Tuning Magician. Nothing changes. 
like this is hand trap proof it is literally hand trap proof and there's different ways with the pen graph spell card to search harmonizing magician to normal summon it there are other tuners in the deck the deck is just remarkable now you're thinking of trip what do you do at this point well it's actually very simple i'm gonna no add i did not normal summon yet so then i'm gonna show you a different combo later it's gonna be a long video stay tuned and you're gonna see all the different combos i set up different versions of the combo with the new pendulum magician double iris combo moving forward anyways I didn't normal summon, so he's over to add the harmonizing. He, if he Nibiru's, he's Nibiruing on the on the Tuning Magician or on the Link Ross tokens. He is not Nibiru's not passing the tokens. So I normal harmonizing here, and now I make Librarian. Let the fun begin. Link the Tuning Magician and the token into Formula Synchron. This does not take up space in the extra deck. You have so much space in the extra deck, it is unbelievable. You don't play Absolute Vortex Cross Sheep anymore. You don't even play Crowley. The normal summon has to be the Magician, or after your pen summon, use Oath to get your normal summon. So you don't play any of that. You have so much space now. So in doing so, you draw two cards here. You didn't Pendulum Summon yet, by the way. Next, we're gonna use Tuning Magician. Uh, you don't need to summon Tuning Magician if you don't want to here, but I do anyway. I want to summon it later, it doesn't really matter. So I don't use Tuning Magician just yet. I link the the formula and the token into the Metal Marcher, Metal Marcher Special, the formula. And uh, then after that, I'm going to link those two into Degda. Remember, I did not use the Tuning Magician. Remember that, I'm going to save it for later. I use the Degda now to set up the Scythe, and I'm going to set up a Boral Savage before my Pen Summon. Degda is the coolest part of this deck, is because you are able to do so many cool stuff here to set the Scythe. And yeah, I just set the scythe by this. I go into Savage Dragon and I set the scythe. It's that easy. Uh, I just did a little prematurely there, but dag the scythe before your pen summon. Now you get the pen summon and actually do your cool combos. And every turn like this, I'm going to allure first before I do it. And every it's just rank four spam after this. Now, if your opponent Nibiru'd you or Valor'd your, 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 your or Imperm your Needle Fiber, you just do the pen summon with the harmonizing, oath add harmonizing. And then you just do the same thing, and then you get Degda. If you got Nibiru, you just make Degda with the Tuning Magician and the token, and you just do the exact same board, but no Savage Dragon and no plus two draws. It's also, if you don't have the normal summon, there's another combo, which I'll show after this combo tutorial, the, the second combo tutorial, on how even if you don't have access to the Librarian, you're still drawing three cards, you just don't end on the Savage, and you make the Savage after with, with a Harmonizing Pen Summon. Now we're gonna pen four. Uh, or pen three with harmonizing effect of special we're going to also trigger the effect of celestial to add at the end phase and here we're going to we have a few options here so here we're going to go to tornado dragon first off so our tornado dragon before we popped I double iris i meant to special the tuning now so imagine tuning magicians on the field now i'm going to summon back a little later so i'm going to tornado dragon i'll save tornado dragon for a little later i go into time star uh time star add the magician souls all right at this point is when I said, like, yeah, I special it, and then I popped the Tornado Dragon, like I said just now. So what Tuning Magician does is if you have two cards in the scale, it special summons itself back. It's like Jet Synchron without a discard. Uh, but you have to have two Magicians. So Oaf and the Double Iris that was there before the Tornado pop. Time start at the Magician Souls. Magician Souls sent Jackal. You only play one Jackal, one Mighty Master. If you're going second at this point, you use Time Star to add Mighty Master. You go Selene, and Mighty Master blow up the whole board. But that's for going second. I don't really need that. At this point, I'm gonna use souls to send the Selene because I'm gonna literally need space. So I'm gonna set ascend it. And then I'm gonna link those into the Selene. Selene at this point is gonna special Jackal King. I'm gonna scale a card so Jackal King gets counters. Then I'm gonna link those two into Appalooza. Now I'm gonna set the time pen graph. And I'm going to on his turn, I'm gonna add it to end phase with Celestial Magician. I'm gonna add it in Demian Mighty Master. And then on his turn, I'm gonna use Tornado Dragon on the scythe that was set by the Degda. So now what the heck deck is playing through this? What the heck deck in the world is playing through Scythe, which cannot be Dark Ruler, it's already activated, a Savage Dragon, a Jackal, a Appaloosa, and a Time Pengraft that is gonna pop two cards because of Time Star Magician on the field. With Time Star protecting all your scales, your Jackal, and next turn, you have a full set of board at hand, and you're gonna obliterate your opponent. You have three cards in hand, bro. This deck is ridiculous. Double Iris brought back a sleeping giant in Pendulum Magicians. And Wisdom My Magician can finally see play one of my favorite all-time cards. I'm not going to show you guys a second replay with what happens if you don't have a normal summon uh, like I did to make the Librarian. There's a second combo tutorial that I'm going to show you guys right now. This is the second combo tutorial. Uh, again, look at this. It even looks like a brick, bro. Who the hell plays Wisdom My Magician? Well, you are now. We're going to use the star the Pendulum Graph, which is searchable by three Duelist Alliances. You are no longer playing Pendulum Call. Pendulum Call cannot be seen in your deck no more. With Pen, Pen Call, it does not let you use uh, to trigger Double Iris. 
does not let you trigger. Wisdom Eye, you want to get the most out of Double Iris Magician. You need to search it as, in any way you can. So you can search it by Star Pendulum, grab Duelist Alliance, Wisdom Eye Magician. You are now playing like 10 Double Irises. And you will see how good Double Iris actually is. There are times where you could uh, trigger it with Tornado. Uh, still pen summon it back with Tornado before your, before your pen summon. And then pop it via Mighty Master and search both Star Pengraph and Time Pengraph. It's really crazy. Anyways, we're going to go into a Double Iris here uh, with Wisdom Eye. And we're going to trigger Chronograph on the destruction of the Wisdom Eye. At this point, I recognize, wait a second. I have to Star and Time Pen Graph. So Double Iris can't search anything. If we didn't hard draw the Time Pen Graph, you would go for Double Iris here. But instead, I'm going to go for Black Fang. This is a second combo. I'm going to put it in a bit. This is the second part of the combo. Where it, what happens if you already have Star and Time and you don't need Double, uh, uh, you don't need, uh, double Iris? That's when you go into Black Fang instead. Now, Needle Fiber will trigger. Special Link, this again. We're going to summon out the Selene. Selene will special the Tuning Magician. We're going to go into Link Ross and special three tokens. Nothing new here. It is the exact same thing I just showed. But this time, I'm not going to waste my normal summon. Instead, I'm going to go into Formula Synchro right off the bat. That will allow me to draw one card. After that, I'm going to link these two into Mar Metal Marcher. Metal Marcher, special link back to Formula Synchron. And now remember, you have three tokens because of Link Ross. Normal Link Ross decks can't do this. But now you're going to link the Formula and Extra Token into Cybers Integrator. When this goes to the graveyard, you draw one card. And then you're going to take the Cybers Integrator and the Metal Marcher, and you're going to go into Stardust. Stardust, Charge Warrior. Draw two cards. One from Charge Warrior, one from Cybers Integrator. It's like a backwards Hyper Librarian. It works out in the exact same way, but you don't waste your normal summon. So then you draw two cards. Now it's going to get even better. Now you're going to take Link Ross and the Stardust Charge and Link into Degda. And it is the exact same end board. You draw one extra card than the normal summon. You save your normal summon. And you're going to make Savage Dragon anyways via Harmonizing Magician. Uh, so then we're going to use the effect of 2D Magician from the graveyard. We're going to set a Scythe. And we're going to Desires right now. We got the Scythe out of the deck, so you're free to Desires. Some people might not want to play Desires because you might banish your Scythe, but it literally doesn't matter. Your opponent is not going to play through 5 negates anyways, and you want to make sure you can go second, you're destroying boards. And with the prowess, the Magician's going second, going second, and one you play one Mighty Master to search a Time Star, it's actually easy as hell. It's actually, you Mighty Master more often because you have infinity ways to Mighty Master because of Time Star. Again, stay tuned to the end of the video and show the deck profile at the end. So, next, we're going to go into Selene, and we're going to pen summon four cards. Look how many cards we have in our hand. And again, if your opponent was going to Nibiru, he was going to Nibiru on the Link Ross effect. If he was going to Valor or Imperm, he was going to do it on the Needle Fiber. And if he did it any of those times, you still have the exact same board. Maybe minus one negate, but you're still setting up Scythe with Tornado with Pengraph with the Savage Dragon. Like, regardless. Regardless of when it's used. If it's used now, obviously you won't be able to, but if any opponent has a brain, they will not allow that to resolve. They know that a Savage Dragon is going to come before the Pen Summon, so Nibiru is getting dropped on the tokens, no matter what. Uh, so you literally play through all of that. And then you go Tornado, you pop the Black Bank to special out the Purple Poison that you specifically put back in the graveyard, and now you're going to get a free negate like that. You go Time Star, Time Star is going to search Magician Souls, and now at this point you got to think a little bit, because uh, because of the Scythe, the Star Pen Graph, the Time Pen Graph, and... The scale, which is going to be uh, where you're going to put the Selene from the Savage Dragon. You literally can't pen summon next turn. So I was kind of thinking here what I should do. I'm going to go Savage here and set the Selene. I'm going to show you guys a better play than, than doing this. Uh, you can actually save the souls. I'll put the Selene in the scale, actually. So I'm going to not use souls. I'm going to save souls for next turn instead. And I'm going to put the Selene uh, that I equipped from Savage in the scale. Because next turn, I'm going to special souls. And that's I'm going to pen summon. By next turn, I save the souls. And that's when I uh, send it to the grave. I'm then going to go Appaloosa, set Time Pen Graph, and summon that. Uh, if I want to, I could summon Souls, I guess, and send the Selene here. But there's just no reason to extend a little bit. And another board where you put up the exact same board. It's an unbreakable board. This time we didn't have Jackal. Unfortunately, it was banished, but it doesn't matter. If it wasn't banished, we literally had the same board. Because Souls sent Jackal, and we would have sent a Jackal here, but it was just banished by Desires. I'm going to show you guys in the two more replays at super fast speed. So pay close attention to both of them. And then I'm going to show you guys the deck profile and explain all my choices. If you guys got this far, mid-video so far, guys, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I spent the entire day building this deck. I've had like 1,000 attempts at it. I've had different attempts, but I feel so good about this, both going first and going second. It's really, really good, man. And if you guys like what you see and want to get better pendulums, sign up pendulum training down below. Let's go to the third replay. Third replay here, super speed the whole way. Super speed, bro. 
Every hand looks the same. You're just playing Infinity Magicians, bro. You're playing Infinity Pendulum Magicians. Here, I'm going to pause a bit because we got to do the combo a little bit different because the only tuner we opened, well, the only extender we opened was Tuning Magician. Tuning Magician is not only a tuner, but also an extender. You could special summon it or you could be a tuner. You want to open either you one extender, one tuner. You have lots of extenders and lots of tuners in the deck, so you never don't open them. You can always Needle Piper after your pen summon, but this just ensures you do the whole combo through hand traps. If you open one extender, one tuner, through any hand trap, it's really good. And then, since you play through any hand trap, you also play through any card like, any card like, uh, I don't know, like, a Dark Ruler, Sphere Mode, doesn't matter. Because Scythe is already activated in your pen graph set, and you have five cards in hand to pen summon next turn. Anyways. So the only difference, we're gonna use Celine here to special the Twenty Magician, obviously under Celine. I meant to summon under Celine, so it's the same thing. Uh, we won't be able to, we go Link Ross. Uh, just remember that Twenty Magician will be under the Celine, but it doesn't matter. But we won't be able to use the Twenty Magician effect because we already used it this turn. But this Twenty Magician was summoned by Needle Fiber, so it, we could summon it back by Celine. So this is what we're at. We're gonna do here is we're gonna go Formula. It's literally the same thing. Formula, go with Metal Marcher, summon the Formula. Uh, then you go into Cyber Integrator. You're gonna draw three regardless. Let me draw three. Two from one from Stardust, one from Integrator, one from Formula. And now instead of using the Twinning Magician to trigger the Dagda, we just trigger the Dagda on the Harmonizing effect. It literally doesn't matter at all. So now we just pen summon again. It's the exact same board. It doesn't matter what you open. Twinning Magician is just a better Jet Synchron. Uh, and we're gonna just do the exact same combo all over again. Nothing new here. Exact same combo. Like, it's just all so broken, man. I'm gonna save the Harmonizing, that way I could uh, use it for Savage Dragon. I'm gonna Souls, unfortunately we'll be able to summon the Jackal back. I'm gonna summon that, go to uh, Savage Dragon. Boom. Celestial at the end phase because we uh, uh, sent it to the graveyard and the special did back. And then, at the, again, another broken one. We're gonna do one more replay. Like, this deck is literally just crazy. I can't stress that enough. I took White Wing out of my deck, I believe. But White Wing's another good card you can play. I just took it out recently, but again, it's like just the exact same thing. You don't need to use the normal summon, but you could. You don't need Corner Grab. Like it could have been Curtain Razor would be the same result. You just normal the White Wing, and it's just the exact same play here. Your opponent just can't do anything about it. I think the Metal Marcher play with Stardust is better than the first combo that I showed. Kind of rewarding the people that don't that just left after seeing the first combo. So you guys seeing it? It's every turn does it. But I meant to set the scythe, not draw that. I go Celine. Jackal, it, it's just the exact same combo here every single time. Tornado, pop, you want to pop that before you allure, just in case you, you hard draw it. Like, it's just so good. It's just so good. Like, I can't stress that enough. You go up Lusa again, and no time star this time, but doesn't matter. You have Pengraph on the purple poison, so you're still popping two cards. This deck is truly ridiculous, and the fact that every single hand does this is amazing. And there are situations where you don't open one of your 10 ways to tuners or one of your 10 extenders. And that's totally fine because you're still doing the same thing just after the pen summon. This deck is unbelievable. And you guys love what you see. Again, smash the like button. And I'm going to show you guys right now the deck profile. This is the deck profile. It will not be possible with the two, two tuning magicians. You can play three tuning magicians if you want. But it is a little redundant because you know that it is going to be special summoned by needle fiber. But it is still great to open. The triple harmonizing, great to open. And is these are not the only tuners you have in your deck. There's different ways to get tuners via Duelist Alliance and Star Pendulum Graph. So these are also tuners in a sense because whenever you normal summon, uh, Wisdom I gets destroyed, Time Gazer gets, gets special summoned by Chronograph, Graph, they all add harmonizing. So these are all different ways you get tuners before your pen summon. And in worst case scenario, harmonizing is harmonizing. You can just pendulum summon it and do it anyways. If you open enough extenders, you can also Celine and go Jackal and then do it after your pen summon. There's so many cool ways to do it, which you guys want to see, I'll show you guys later. Wisdom is mandatory. Don't play pen call. You cannot play double iris without with, with pen call. You have to pick one or the other. So obviously with double iris, it's just too good, man. It's too good. I didn't realize how good Wisdom actually was. Wisdom I also ensures, even for brick hands, Wisdom Might ensures you're going to have two free monsters because oh, uh, Wisdom Might gets into the uh, extra deck, Oath adds it back, and then after it adds it back, you just, uh, it gets a free, you special summon and then add it back and normal summon it. It's it just so good. It's just so good. It's Wisdom Might is a plus one, Oath is a plus one, Harmonizing is a plus one. They're all plus ones. Next, you play one of each of the Magician just uh, for the use of each of them. Black Fang, it, it works out well in this deck with Wisdom Might. If you play Pen Call, don't play Black Fang obviously, but in a situation where you only have one double iris and you're already trying to pop your scales, 
The whole point of the deck is to pop your scales of Tornado Dragon. It's great to have a second card that's not double Iris. So if Desire banishes the Iris, at least you have Black Fang. And again, it's not the be-all end-all. Like, Iris is not the be-all end-all of the deck. It just makes it so much better. and actually gives you a reason to play pure Pendulum Magicians. Uh, do, you don't even play one pen call. You literally never need it. If Desire's Batch to Scythe, again, it doesn't matter. It's not the only reason you play the deck. Scythe is just incredible in this deck. Uh, Pearl Poison, obviously, is so good going second. You play one Jackal, one Mighty Master. You're playing Triple Souls. If you hard draw the Jackal, that's great. You just get a free Jackal. You know what I mean? If you hard draw the Mighty Master, you still need one Mighty Master in your deck to go second. And it, Time Star searches the Magician Souls. So you just get these negates for free. If you really want to, you can remove the Jackal and the Mighty Master and the Scythe, if you really, really want to, and put in three Jester Confits, if you feel like it's not, uh, uh, like, I don't know, turbo enough for you. But I'm the master of turbo cards, and I know that this is turbo enough, but having access to these helps you out in the, like, as it gives you a more bigger base. You know what I mean? It's not just spam, 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 spam. Now, the extenders that are required are Chronograph and Crit Razor. They're the two best. And Magician Souls, because after you use Star Pendulum Graph, you send it. After you, uh, you time start searches the souls, right? So you at least need one souls. Time start search the souls. You could use it to send the savage equip card and start pen grab and search, draw two at the end of your combo. You can just draw it so much, follow up everything. I think a little about this deck as the best follow up in the game. Uh, so the extenders are three souls, three curtain razor, three chronograph. You just need to see one of the nine. You're playing seven draw cards, six of which say draw two. So you're playing nine extenders in a 33 card deck. Uh, we you, all you need to see is one. You actually don't want to see two. If you see two, it's fine. Actually, if you open two, you're guaranteed a librarian play. But you can actually freely. It, it is debatable to save space, even take a librarian and just stick with the formula metal marcher integrator starter charge play, and then savage at the end. That is legitimate if you want to. But librarian's better if you open uh, two extenders. You can librarian instead, uh, as long as one of them is like a level four extender. Uh, and then upstart, triple up uh, desire, triple allure, triple alliance, one pen graph, but one of each pen graph. Works out amazing. Don't play Dark Worm over Curtain Razor. Now, I've explained this reasoning in the past. Let's say, for example, you play, let's say you don't want to open Dark Worm, right? Let's say you only play two Dark Worm. You're only going to play two and one gate zero. And then you'll play one Foolish, one Shrine, right? You can't even play two Shrine anymore because there's no Destrudo. Even if you play two, fine, go ahead, you'll play two, no problem. All right. If you open Foolish or Shrine, it's good. If you open Double, they're very bad. Even worse, opening Dark Worm is not an extender. Opening Dark Worm number two is not an extender. Opening Gate Zero number two, or one, number one, is not an extender. The only extenders are Foolish and Double Shrine, which are bad in multiples. In fact, you should probably only play one Shrine without Destrudo. So now you only have two extenders and three Garnets. You do not want to open the Dark Worm. Like your play is not Special Chrono, Special Dark Worm. Your normal summon is your Tuners. Your tuners are your normal summons, not Dark Worm. So they, they're literally bricks. And you can't just play Foolish and Shrine. Curtain Razor, on the other hand, is a guaranteed extender. It guarantees special itself on board. And you're playing a rank four deck. Your whole deck is reliant on Tornado Dragon. So you want to use Tornado to pop your Iris and then pop your Scythe. Using Tornado twice for two important, very important reasons for your combo. So Curtain Razor at three is mandatory. And that's that. These are all the extenders. Like I said, the only thing I would take out, uh, maybe even one Jackal, you already win at that point, but I wouldn't even take that out. It's so good. Or maybe one Oak Dragon. But it's so good to open. Oak Dragon is incredible. I think you need to play two. Oak Dragon is remarkable. Like, it's a pseudo wisdom I in a sense. But this is the updated list. Honestly, I wouldn't change anything. It's amazing. I spent the last eight hours on this, or however long. I lost track of time. Six hours, whatever, whatever the balance dropped. I spent non-stop on this list since. I've had 1,000 attempts at it before, like th during, throughout the eight hours, and this is just the best. Uh, side deck, four Mystic Minds. This card didn't get banned. You're going to utilize as much as you want. You still get to Selene and Mighty Master your opponent. Why would you not take advantage of it? Uh, when Magisus cards comes out, this get that gets even better. I was playing with a lot of Magisus cards. I, I told you guys I made, <laughs> made custom cards for this. Okay, it must be... Uh, where, okay, there we go. Magisus cards are crazy with this. Like, imagine summoning Magisus Master, Master Endymion, which you can search with in, uh, Mastery, by the way, which literally you are going to play to search this card. You get a free draw, and then you pop Double Iris Magician. Like, bro, <laughs> it's so plus, bro. What? It is so plus. And this uh, works wonders, this card, for, for this deck. You can play Dogmatica cards afterwards. Anyways, they'll save that for when the deck actually gets released. 
Uh, you play five, three, three three mode, two lava golem. You don't want to lose the inferno bowl. You don't need your normal summon going second. Uh, and going second, they don't play Nibiru and stuff like that. So if you just play these nine, they're going to choose one out of your hand. You don't care. You just get rid of the rest of the board. All you need is harmonizing to resolve. Harmonizing resolving is full Needle Viper OTK. So it doesn't matter. You literally auto win. Uh, yeah. And because of the Oridon going second, there's a combo which I'll show you guys where Needle Fiber equals Link Climbing into Axis Cold Talker plus a free monster on board to OTK your opponent. Uh, and then for going uh, against Trap Decks, you have Triple Denko, Feather Duster, and Reboot. Got to play Feather Duster now against Trap Decks. And Ningirsu against any uh, any uh, Dragoon deck, you put in an Ningirsu as well to OTK. You could also, I guess you could put an Ignister instead of the Ningirsu would be even better. And you could play one Lesser Pendulum, maybe, if you play the one Ignister against those decks. Uh, maybe going second. Maybe I'll do that. Anyways, uh, one Needle Fiber, one Dagda, one Link Ross. Put the Dagda around here. Uh, Double Selene, uh, Access Code Appaloosa. You do not need, uh, you, literally not even two level seven. Well, you have one Mighty Master, one Dragon Pit. But they're not there because they're level seven. They're there because they're effects. You very rarely in this deck do the Absolute Vortex combo. So there's just no reason to even play it. It takes up a lot of space. You don't need Cross Sheet because you normal summon is a Tuner, not Blue Boy. Uh, Tornado, Time Star. I try to put Brawl and Dragon. There's just no space. Uh, the only thing I would take out is the one Librarian and just forego the, the extra good combo where you're Librarian first before you have all this fun. But there's a lot of cool places as well where you could end up using Librarian to draw like five times before the Pen Summon uh, if you have uh, extra extenders. So I, I didn't, I, the only one I had Librarian was once and then I didn't even draw that many times. But uh, there's ways where you could draw like literally like five times before the Pen Summon. Uh, I did it in, in testing, but like it might even be win more because you just end up with this anyways. And yes, the one Savage and that's the extra deck. It is absolutely amazing, and wow, I love this. Uh, at the moment, I will be playing this over Endymion. I feel it's literally better through all interruptions. Sometimes with Endymion, it plays through hand traps like crazy, but you do sometimes get unlucky with the draws. You draw like 10,000 times. You end up just drawing like like just more draw cards, and like sometimes it's unlucky that you're playing such a, a good deck, literally. But this is a good mix-up. It's like two different versions. I love both, and with this one, you could actually take advantage of Needle Fiber. That's something that Endymion cannot do. This is a one-card engine. Like we're talking one Needle Fiber equals draw four with Savage Dragon. That is, that's ridiculous. Anyways, that's the video, guys. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. If you guys love Double Iris Magician, get the beautiful Double Iris Joker Kieran Playmat in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Tomorrow, I'll be doing another sick updated Pendulum Balance video. Maybe with Rusty this time. We'll see you guys then. Peace!